Hello, thanks for joining us. Today marks the second anniversary of traffic troubles in Fort Lee, the bridge obstructing political vendetta that's come to be known as Bridgegate. Today, candidate Chris Christie campaigned on restoring law and order, but one of Governor Christie's key Port Authority appointees may be swept up in a federal probe of two cozy deals that led to regime change at United Airlines. Michael Hill reports. This is the Aiken, South Carolina House former Port Authority Chairman David Sampson traveled to aboard those United Airlines flights, ones he himself allegedly deemed the chairman's flight that departed Newark on Thursday nights and returned from Columbia, South Carolina on Monday mornings. Flights arranged after Sampson had dinner with United's then CEO Jeff Smyzik, and during the time the Port Authority was considering United's push to expand its foothold at Newark Liberty International Airport, which the Port Authority runs. On Tuesday, Smyzik, along with two other United executives, resigned after the nation's third largest carrier's internal investigation, an investigation launched when the airlines received subpoenas from federal investigators this year. The money losing nonstop 50 seat flights, according to published reports, flew only half full at best. They lasted for 19 months and ended three days after Samson resigned March 2014 from the Port Authority amid the Bridgegate scandal. United says it's still cooperating with U.S. Attorney Paul Fishman's probe. While Samson's spokesperson calls it a United matter, the legal world sees it as the feds building a case for indictments to follow. Ellen Tora Grossa O'Connor is a former Ocean County prosecutor turned criminal defense attorney. Many facts remain unknown right now, but if, as you suggest, there is a nexus or even an actual quid pro quo, an exchange of official action, uh, in exchange for, um, you know, some gratuities or some benefits to a public official, then I think we both know the answer as to where something like that would go. Samson is a close political ally of Governor Christie. Neither responded to our calls for comment. The governor appointed Samson to the Port Authority and allegedly was directly involved in the samson smizik talks about United's operations at the airport. Anytime you say Bridgegate, it hurts Chris Christie. And it doesn't matter what the context is, even something as obscure as uh, the Samson uh, chairman flights. And Seton Hall University political science professor Matt Hale says this does doesn't bode well for the presidential candidate's sudden call for a return of police to stop and frisk on the streets. I think it certainly makes his law and order message uh, a little bit more difficult for him uh, to deliver with a straight face. That doesn't mean he's not going to do it. Law and order seems to be selling uh, as as his calling card, and I think he I would expect him to keep doing it um, no matter what happens with the Samson investigation. And Professor Hale points out Chris is the only one in the race with former U.S. attorney on his resume, the same office that's investigating and prosecuting some of his political appointees. Mary Alice? Michael, what are lawmakers saying about whether or not this will have an impact on Port Authority reform? They say this should make a really easy case. Senator Bob Gordon of Birkin County says the headlines keep crying out for reform, and you would think this would be easy to accomplish. He says many of those reforms making national news likely would not have happened, many of those stories making national news likely would not have happened, and both sides would accept, uh, on the Hudson would accept deals that should not be taking place in the shadows, they should be taking place in plain light. He says the headlines will keep coming, but so should reform. The governors of both states who run the Port Authority need to commit to transparency and accountability. Senator Gordon said, look, this is not hard stuff, it's really common sense, but Mary Alice, as the saying goes, common sense ain't common. Right. Thanks, Michael.